Olivier, thanks for joining us today. Um, you're the new CEO of Latin America for American Tower. Uh, tell us about the 3G to 4G uh, transition in Latin America. Maybe give some examples by country. Okay, so yeah, what we've seen uh, in Latin America is no, no different from what we've seen uh, in, in the US, Europe, and uh, part of Asia in the past uh, three to four years. Uh, I.e. most of the operators now are trying to accelerate the migration from the older technology to the new one. Um, so 2G, you know, is, is pretty much disappearing in some of these markets. You still have some legacy technology like CDMA or even IDEN with Nextel in some, in some country like Mexico and Brazil. But most of the focus from the operators is, uh, is clearly between migration to 3G or massification to 3G and then starting to ramp up efforts on, on 4G. So we see that uh, everywhere I and mean, most of the markets already have uh, auctioned the, the first uh, blocks in, uh, in high spectrum, I would say in, uh, in 4G, uh, so in the, in the higher yeah. band of 4G. To a five in particular, yes, um, and uh, so we see that in, in Chile, in Brazil, in Mexico, in Colombia, uh, Peru recently, uh, Mexico as well, uh, which of course is, is great. I mean, for the consumers because you can finally have access, you know, to uh, uh, to, uh, to data enable uh, content through uh, uh, better technology. Uh, so we're trying to help the carriers as much as we can in, in this migration. Maybe give us a snapshot of where American Tower is in Latin America in terms of total towers and um, density by country. Sure. So we have uh, north of 22,000 towers. It's evolving every day. So <laughs> we uh, operate in seven markets. We started in 1999 uh, in Mexico, uh, then 2000 in Brazil, which are kind of anchor countries, I would say, in, in, the, in the region. Uh, then Colombia, Chile, Peru, and more recently, Costa Rica and Panama. Uh, I would say the, the biggest um, size of, of a tower portfolio we have in, uh, in Brazil. Uh, it's around 7,200 uh, towers that we have in Brazil, north of 8,000 in Mexico, and then the rest in the other five markets that I mentioned. How about tower and uh, technology? Uh, fiber to the antenna, uh, fiber backhaul, where, uh, where's Latin America with respect to those two areas or other technologies? Yeah, I think, you know, uh, Latin America is more on the traditional model for now, which is around, you know, new build-outs uh, to make sure that 3G and 4G have the right coverage, uh, at least in the urban areas to start with, which is almost the case, I would say, in the most established markets, uh, Sao Paulo, Rio in Brazil, Mexico City, the big cities in, in Latin America. So that has been the focus of the carrier so far, and, and uh, most of our time has been to help them also get this coverage. The second piece is, uh, is to get these same technologies in the rural areas, so we see a lot of focus from the regulators and the operators and, and, uh, and, and us as well on trying to build new towers or co-locate you know, the operators on, on more rural areas which are highly populated as well or that are becoming more and more populated like the northeast of Brazil, uh, some part of Mexico, um, Colombia is a highly de decentralized market as well so we see, we see a lot of opportunities there. And then in terms of new technology I think it's a bit of greenfield uh, working progress. We see a lot of focus on DAS and small cells. So um, at ATC, at least, we have invested quite some time and money on developing uh, especially indoor DAS, I would say, with uh, most of the carriers, because we see the, the potential for lease up um, in most of the markets. Uh, a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, potential and uh, attractiveness in these uh, IDAS systems in most of the markets. Shopping, airports, um, stadiums, hospitals. Uh, a lot of uh, venues which uh, require a lot of density, capillarity uh, regarding coverage. So, so a lot of investments there. Small cells, I think it's work in progress, a lot of interest. Regulators are still uh, looking at how to uh, help uh, the ramp up of this technology in most markets. Um, Brazil is one that has started to regulate it a little bit more. The role of companies like, like ours in the value chain is still a little bit unclear. So we, we, we look uh, with a lot of interest uh, you know, to help the carriers there and, and see if, uh, if the tower business model somehow is applicable as well for these technologies.